I just got an email from Minerva that my decision is out and my heart is beating so fast. Oh my god, feel your decision. I got it. Let me read this letter. Oh my god, this doesn't feel real. I am so happy. I am over the moon. Wow. So, I've got a little bit of explaining to do. If you have kept up with my college journey and if you followed along with my videos, you're probably kind of confused and probably surprised. For anyone new to my channel and haven't seen my previous videos, at first I committed to UCLA and then I got off Brown's waitlist. So I committed to Brown and I've attended Brown for a full academic year now. And now I'm transferring to Minerva. This is not a video to diss Brown or anything. I love Brown with all my heart and this is a video of my personal reasons of why I want to transfer. Before we get into the reasons, I want to give a brief overview about Minerva because it's still a relatively new school and I'm guessing not that many people know about it yet so I want to first explain um, what Minerva is and how it all works. The full name of Minerva is Minerva Schools at KGI and it is a totally reinvented university model that is based on the science of learning and practical in-city integration of learning. The first graduating class of Minerva graduated in 2019, so it's still very new. So I guess the most popular aspect of Minerva that it's like most known for is the fact that we move to a different city every single semester. So after we have finished our four years of undergrad, we would have lived in seven different countries. The seven cities that we live in are San Francisco in the United States, um, tai Taipei in Taiwan, Seoul in Korea, Hyderabad in India, Berlin in Germany, Buenos Aires in Argentina, and London, England. And for the last semester, we moved back to San Francisco and finished our degree there. I know, it's crazy. And another thing about Minerva is there are no in-person classes. So the classes are taught on this um, platform called the Active Learning Forum, which is designed for Minerva. And there are no lectures and exams. In fact, professors cannot talk for more than four minutes at a time. So all the classes are discussion-based and professors can see um, who's talking how much and what kind of contribution a student is making in the class. So there's a lot of direct feedback and the class sizes are also very small i believe um the maximum amount per class is 19 but i'm not sure but it's somewhere around there so the classes are super small and it's very engaging very active like we have no choice but to engage since all the classes are this way so that really excites me because i love talking in class and like during high school i took this ap lang class and we had seminar sometimes and we would have to speak and like i looked forward to that a lot i just knocked my tripod over so i hope the angle didn't change too much but yeah i was saying we do projects in the city so we take what we learn in class and apply it to practical things out in the city and there are also civic projects that connect us with possible I guess like career paths that we could be interested in and that was what I mentioned in my last video when I said I want to work at an entertainment company when I get to Korea. Minerva connects with different companies and people in different fields and we get to choose what we want to um, try out and like work in. So yeah, that is super amazing and I am really looking forward to those opportunities. If you have watched my college decision video from last year, from 2020, then you would know that I applied to Minerva last year, but I didn't get in. And Minerva always felt like a very far off dream because of how low the acceptance rate is. And I never really believed in myself. Like I was hopeful, but I was never optimistic about getting in. So when I got rejected last year, I was pretty bummed out, but like not surprised at the same time. I have wanted to um, attend Minerva since last year. Ever since I found out Minerva existed, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect for me. I need to go there. Secondly, Brown is very expensive compared to Minerva. Minerva's tuition is around $15,000 per year. Brown's tuition is, I think, around $50,000. So the difference is huge. And the reason for that difference is because Minerva doesn't have 
uh, campus so there are no football fields no gyms and facilities things like that so for those costs that we have to pay for in traditional universities at Minerva, we don't need to do that. For me as a student personally, I don't believe I need the other facilities that traditional US colleges have. With Minerva, only having facilities that directly influence our education, that is good enough for me. And thirdly, after a year at Brown, I have loved the classes I've taken so far. Also, the professors have been amazing and I've learned a lot, but I don't feel as active in my learning as I wish I was. It's very easy to watch lectures recorded or live and to not have to you know necessarily be actively participating in it because i just have to listen at minerva we were forced to participate and be active so i feel like that um, model of education would be better suited for what i'm looking for as a student the biggest question that i get when i tell people that i've decided to transfer from Brown to Minerva is aren't you worried about your future career plans since Minerva is a new school and it might not be well recognized by employers yet whereas Brown is a prestigious and established school in the Ivy League and that a lot of people know about so it will be easier for you to get a job that's the question that I get the most and I would say not really I'm not worried because I truly believe that the opportunities that I'll get through living in different places and to meet people and talk to people from all over the globe because Minerva's student population consists of like the, major the majority is international students to have the opportunity to do all of that and yeah, to live in different cities, work in different cities and to gain those experiences and everything I believe that's worth it even if that doesn't necessarily get me a job directly just with my college diploma also another thing like does your college diploma matter for you to get a job like all those things i feel like are so specific to a person's circumstance what really matters is what we make of it and what we choose to do with our time and with our resources so far, I've received a lot of positive feedback on making this decision but I know there are a lot of viewpoints and some may think I'm making a big mistake some may think I'm making the best decision of my life so I don't know which one it is yet I'm hoping it's the latter but I do really feel it in my heart that this is the decision that's right for me I'm very very excited for this journey and I know it won't be perfect I don't expect a perfect journey but I know at the end it's going to be amazing hopefully i'll be going to san francisco in the fall if everything works out so fingers crossed i'm super happy super grateful and i still cannot believe i get this chance to attend such a dream in such an amazing school and i just cannot wait to start and on that note i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one Bye!